Uh, I mean, I had some tough, tough times in Phoenix. Um, Phoenix was the first time in my career that I didn't really have a consistent role on the team. And that was difficult for me. Um, and that really messed with my, my head a lot. Because, you know, I had signed a, a pretty good deal there. And, yeah, I just, I mean, I'm like playing one game, not playing the next ten. Like it was, um, you know, granted people can say, well, you didn't play well. But, um, you know, I think part of that goes to consistency. And I've consistently always been on the floor. Um, and that was tough. And But then I would say the next the next one would be my first time getting released. I was in Brooklyn. I actually went in and asked them to release me. Um, it was a game. So uh, Avery Johnson had just been, um, he's just gotten fired. And um, the new coach came in and, you know, it was a game. We were down like, or we were up like, I don't know, 20 or 25 or something with maybe six minutes left in the fourth. So he, you know, I, he puts me in the game. Um, and the the team, he puts a, a whole new five in, um, you know, guys that hadn't played much or whatever. And I think the team cut the, to cut the lead to 16. And it was maybe like three or four minutes left in the game. Um, and he pulls everybody. And I was like, you know what? If this coach doesn't feel that I'm a good enough player to stay on the floor up 16 with two minutes left in this game, then I don't need to be here. And so I asked to leave. And you know, most most guys would say that I'm crazy, or I don't know if any guys have done that before, but um, you know, for me that was. Uh, it was a little bit of a pride thing. Like, I felt like I was good enough to stay in that game. Um, uh, but, you know, obviously he had a different different perspective. And, yeah, it was, um, it was unfortunate. Um, but positive came out of that. I left and I wouldn't finish my degree. Um, but, yeah, it just wasn't the best situation for me.